<laughs> my advice to you is to keep an open mind and keep asking questions. Hmm. Why? Why? Because that's how you learn. And you since you have an open mind and it's ready to be filled with lots of information, don't say no to anything. Don't say no to anything. What about like drugs? I've been told this. Somebody told me to say no to drugs earlier. Yeah, I would say no to drugs. Well, then how do you decide what to say no to? Well, what what say, do you keep open That's why I say for? you can say yes and see what happens. <laughs> that's okay. The experience is, is how you... Uh, yeah, exactly. Well, is there any way he can skip this? Like, I mean, he was born two days ago, like uh -huh. yesterday. Can he learn where you're at today without having to go through the experience? Can he know a reason to be a... Thank you so much. Uh, no. No? No, uh-uh. Because experience takes time. It's not, you can't it's really go ahead and just absorb. And I am not into AI that you absorb and sort of like download and see everything that's two-dimensional. I think that's going to go ahead and fill your head and get the understanding and knowledge. I think it has to be experiential. That means you have to go ahead and listen and actually mm -hmm. interact with real people. Like me! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I approve of this message. Yeah! <laughs> Let me think. Uh, so is there anything think... that he can know that will help him decipher the experience quicker? I think he's talking to as many people as possible. Because that's what that's what the experiential place is. If you go ahead and you read something, then you don't, don't get to go ahead and do the back and forth. Yeah. And, like you're doing right now, and asking questions and follow-up questions. If you just read something or just sort of like take information as, as, as is. But if you actually ask questions, it's like you don't go ahead and sort of say, okay, take this drug, it's good for you. Sort of like, and you could ask questions here. Why is it good for me? Why is it bad for me? And then make it a, a um, informed consent. So okay. the more questions you ask, all right, I think I got one more question for you then. Okay. What are some good methods of question asking? Some good questions. I think always it's open-ended questions. Hmm. So, <clears throat> why is this happening? <clears throat> what are your thoughts? Um, why are you saying this? Yeah. Those are why, don't they? What, what is this? I think open-ended yeah. I'm a social worker, so yeah. the questions are the best at asking people. Is that the Socratic method? The what? The Socratic method. The Socratic I'm method. I'm trying to remember what, this, what Socrates did. Yeah, that's that's that a, what it is. You just yeah. always, you what just always here, ask. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, a lot of interesting thoughts there. Um, I want to give you guys a chance to say something real quick. Just so I won't, it, what, no, what, what I your love what she was saying. I just like to add to it from the standpoint that yeah. you know I, I hate to say that at age 67 that I am encouraging people to talk to people who don't look the same, live differently, so that we get a better understanding of people's perspectives and why they think they do. And in this day and age, it's really, really difficult because there are some people who really don't want me to be to you be here. At the same time, I got to figure out how do I try to understand why they're so fearful. What is it that just by my being is causing such a threat. Yeah. And again, I'm very jealous of my time. And I want to be with people who I don't have to explain myself to, I can just be comfortable with, and I don't have to deal with their bodies. So it's a real interesting um, place to be in at this time in my life, because I really didn't think this would be the discussion. Yeah. Um, or that we would have so much fear. I've never experienced as much fear as I have in the last few years. Um, so I find that really shocking. So I would say for everybody who's looking at your whatever this is, that, you know, seek out people who, even if you have an inkling, they're not anything like you. It doesn't necessarily mean the race. I mean, yeah. just philosophies or whatever. That's it. And I'm here with my beautiful flowers. I'm going to give to a friend lovely. of mine. Aren't that. they gorgeous? You, I think okay, you have so. a bee in one of the flowers yeah, there. There's, there's a, a bee, bee in one flower. of your flowers. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that's, that's pollinating good. it. <laughs> um, so that makes me happy. So if we can do more pollinating yeah. in terms yeah. of ideas okay. and being open to others without being... So fearful that if we speak out, that we will be beaten or harassed social yeah. media-wise. That 
we're at a totally different level now. I mean, it's one thing to speak out and go away, but if somebody's recording you, yeah, which is fine. My name is Noelle James. I'm happy to be here. Sure. Um, it's we're in a totally different. So I'm trusting sure. that what I'm saying, you're not going to edit it. You're I not, not going to yeah. take my face. Yeah. You're not going to do whatever <laughs> to take what I'm saying and manipulate it to the way you want it. So yeah, yeah. that's the other layer of fear. fear. Yeah. So it's not just yeah, you're right. one thing. That's, yeah. a, that's, a, that's a very new one. Too. Yeah. 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 It's just like, yeah. Yeah. And so if there was any pause in terms of doing that, that was something else. Yeah. So. yeah. And if, that's why I put this ugly mug right up here. It's not ugly. So, it's, <laughs> so uh, to, if he's like, hey, this is my face, this is me. Right. Like, uh, if, if I'm, my goal is not to put anybody on blast. So what, what's your purpose? Uh, my purpose is to um, have people talk to each other better. Uh, to, to have the ideas people have expanded upon so we can understand the building blocks of their ideas. And so people can say, well, I was born yesterday. I, I wasn't brought up to believe this. I wasn't. Uh, I haven't studied this kind of stuff. How can I come to that same conclusion uh, when I've, I've been told differently? And so the goal is to have people examine and, and really expand upon their beliefs in a way that either says, okay, now I have a better idea of what I believe, how I believe it, or okay, I need to improve this element of it so I can fully support this idea. Yeah. Or, or not or not support exactly. it, respect the other person that has an idea. Yeah. You don't listen know. to it, right? right. Yeah. Because yeah. if and people that's aren't allowed part. to express, and if they just feel like that, and they're going to get angry. Right. And I think mm -hmm. that's where my initial, you have to go ahead and listen yep. mm -hmm. and ask questions. Yep. I think it was, it was a jump off point because we are in these <clears throat> echo chambers. Yep. If you only listen to things that you agree with, mm. then you're never going to expand, and nor is anybody else going yep. to You have to listen to things that you don't agree with. That's why I tell him, you listen to everything and you ask questions. Yep. We don't necessarily have to go and say, that's why. That's wrong. I believe this. I don't believe that. <clears throat> but that's scary. It's also it's time scary. consuming. It is scary. Yeah. It is scary. Yeah. Well, you could make it extra controversial here at the Durham Farmers Market and have two day Dave wear a MAGA hat. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, I could see so the or, different reaction for sure. One or, of the discussions um, we've been having, and on purpose, on Flag Day, we took out a flag. Yeah. Now the flag represents different things to different people. Yes. So we have people say, "Why are you hate? Why are you putting on the flag?" Because we're America. Yes. Oh, that's June Fourteenth. This flag day. Yeah. So I'm like yeah. I almost want to take it back. Right. And, and then sort of say that's I'm a positive thing. I'm claiming thing. it. Yes. I'm claiming yeah. it. Exactly. And then there's a poem by Langston Hughes where it's "I too am America," uh -huh. mm -hmm. and I wish I could recite it, but it's exactly what our feelings are. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Made so, for you and me. Yeah. Exactly. And, right. if you really, and if you really want to talk, and then we're going to leave, um, you know, <laughs> America was built on free labor. Yeah. So my ancestors were the enslaved people who built. So if we don't own this stuff, things will never change. Oh, yeah. You can walk all around Chapel Hill and Durham and see the stone walls built around the university. Over. Those weren't built. No. <laughs> Paid and I labor. Yeah. So uh -huh. Um, three generations Minnesotans, so, yeah, yeah. you know, there's really no difference between here and there. Uh -huh. It's just been the races, it's all systemic, and it's oh, yeah. all done differently. And so it took me some time to really understand yeah. it, but it's, it is. Yeah. All right, if, good so, people. Do you mind if I ask nice you a few questions about that? I'm yeah, so sorry. No, it's okay. I, I don't want to yeah, understand taking these. Uh, one, one quick question. Um, People who were brought up believing differently, brought up believing negatively about what you're saying. Um, Which part of what I'm saying? I uh, say a lot. Let, let's let's talk about the race stuff. Um, and when you say race stuff, what do you mean? The people who are scared of of others, of of, me. of, of you, and they, they were brought up that way. They were taught that way. Yeah. What yeah. do you think would convince you if you were them? To consider things differently. I mean, because they're they're going from the pair of you, of the, the view that they were brought up given, the framing they were given. How do we? What kind of frame adjustment would it take if you were in that situation? I, I believe in the simplest. Sit down. 
if you can yeah. have a conversation like this, yeah. if everything is comfortable, I'm not talking about just bringing somebody out like we're doing and saying, let's talk about race. Yeah. That's not how it works. Sure. How do, how, who am I as a person? Yeah. Look at people as, as people. Yeah. What are the things that we have in common? Mm -hmm. Start Sorry. at that primal level. Yeah. Right. And then Start there. Sometimes that brings the accusation of, oh, you're just taking a humanist view. But what other view can there be? You're a human yeah. being, so. But that's the but only thing. It's I can used say. as an. It, 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 positive things end up getting framed right. yeah. in such negative and ways. Each group of people, we all have those that we say, oh, God, they're not representing me. Yeah. Um, so you can't, we're not all monolithic or whatever sure. the word is. Yeah. It's just taking that time to understand that person and how do they and what and I would also say yeah. not just reaching out, but what is it within yourself that you're recognizing is problematic. Yeah. So if you're saying, why is it that I don't like this group of people? Yeah. Sure you might have been brought up that way, but right. so what was the fear? Yeah. What was the why did you want to keep them in whatever spot you want to keep them in? Can I, can I do like a devil's advocate question on no, that? Fine. So, I, I assume this is not speaking for everybody, obviously, but I, some of the people might have fear. Uh, like, they don't trust. Like, they, they're like, oh yeah, we're all human, but these people, which I do not agree with this. Just, just, just devil's advocate. You don't have um, uh, but, they maybe tried to have an open mind and they got burnt or something or they got interpreted the events in their life they were told to be interpreted as being burned um and so they have all these experiences in which they've been told and taught to interpret it as not trustworthy like the people being not trustworthy um which is very arbitrary and i don't believe it. but how what would it take for you to trust somebody who you were afraid could burn. What would it take? For me to yeah. Trust what, what kind of things would you look for? Uh, like. Well, I, I've learned to really trust my intuition, so it may not be answer your question specifically. But one of the things that um, That's the good I've learned the hard thing yeah. is, you know, trust your gut, trust yeah. your spirit. I mean, if anybody should be fearful, it's me. I'm yeah. not the warrior woman that I used to be, so if anybody's going to cause me any crap, I yeah. can't act like I'm crazy, I'm going to knock you out. I can't do right. that. And I'm not trying um, to justify their beliefs, I'm trying to figure out a way that that maybe if we figure out the reasonings behind their beliefs, we could target that as opposed to that. Uh, if, we could, if we focus on the fear as opposed to right. the just the overall why broad the picture. fear why the fear it, I, so I would say yeah. for me yeah the only thing that's that's served me well yeah is if I'm serving myself well in regard to understanding who I am and why I have the police that I do mm -hmm. if I don't have that strong core then everything no matter what it is I say yeah. Make any sense. May I may I paraphrase that to see if I'm understanding what you're saying? Yep. Also, my name's Evan, by the way. I'm just a rando. Hey, Evan. 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 Evan's a great person. Name. Brought me a water. Oh, water. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh. Um, and I love your flowers. I think your Thank friend's you. gonna adore them. Um, so it, it sounds like what you're saying is to look inside first. Yes. And understanding your self awareness. Yes. Yeah. Self awareness. Yes. Yeah. Self awareness. Mm -hmm. And starting from that place, working on yourself rather than trying to work on the world outside of yourself first. And it's ripple effects. That's exactly. What I believe. Yeah. Once you once you come from a place of wholeness yeah. and wellness, then what you naturally exude yep. will be the right ripples. Yep. Right. Okay. And Thank that's you. exactly where I am. And so yeah. for me. The last three years have called that into question because mm. I've always been. Ah, yeah. I love everybody ah, like that. Yeah. Everyone yeah. took well, it down a notch. Yeah. Yeah. At the same time, the same people who I was being very generous to yeah. were the same people who voted for someone who I was shocked at. Yeah. Mm. yeah. And so that just 
went to the core. And so that cape that I was wearing... It kind of shook is, that foundation a bit. Yep, is mm. close to me now. And for me to be talking to strangers... Yeah. It was my intuition. Yeah. So that's how I... And I refuse to let the fear stop me from being me. Hell yeah. It's relating to what you were saying. You, because you haven't had the experience... There's no way that you would know because there's two different worlds that Absolutely. are happening and people Absolutely. don't know that. Yeah, my, my dad, you know, who is a, a no successful middle class businessman, like a white guy, yeah. he's not had an easy life, but he has had a privileged one. And, you know, during the protests and, you know, things were being destroyed and windows were being smashed and all this kind of stuff like that, you know, he was very upset by that. You know, he's really bothered by that. I was like, Dad, like, you, you don't yeah. understand the difference in experience. We had a lot of conversations. I want to go back to your question to clarify what it meant yeah. by what has been stolen from white people. Um, so I'm, I'm pagan. Uh, I, I believe in the Norse gods. And uh, are you okay? Oh, my ears fucked up. Oh. I just sorry. Okay, no, 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 it's no. My sinuses, I, 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 whatever's happening. I wanted to give you enough space for your experience. I wanted you to like. Oh no, I'm fine. Me. I'm probably um, making fun of faces. Sorry. No, no, no. <laughs> well, I'll do it again. Yeah, right. exactly. yeah, yeah. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Community. Yeah. Um, I like it. But Open so, mind. so I I would make the argument that for the past several thousand years predominantly the power structures of Europe have created a system that has disenfranchised anyone that offers community. Anything that really allows us to be resilient as individuals has been destroyed by the European perspective of profit. And I think the that's the American perspective of profit. Well, well, but, but, but I'm saying, I mean, like, I mean, like fear-based this, economy. Yeah, but but, yeah. And it, but like the reason why I say <laughs> European absolutely has expressed itself it's to, to the, the extreme in America. Europe, but but yeah. you know, so for instance, Spain, um, well, yeah, <laughs> like the Catholic Church. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. This is the contentious yeah. thing, but like you know, so the reason why they killed witches is because they were healers. You know, they were people that were rocks in their community, like the wise women. They're full of the power and balance. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Like, women yeah. having power, women having autonomy yeah. threatens yeah. Look like yeah. men yeah. Yeah. who yeah. otherwise maybe aren't as respected yeah. and yeah. can't profit yeah. the same way. Fear. Like, uh, fame. Yeah. Yeah. Fear -based. And yeah. so, uh, Native yeah. Americans yeah. who relied yeah. on the buffalo yeah. herds, the yeah. U.S. military, yeah. Yeah. Killed yeah. all of the buffalo. <laughs> they, they tried to drive the yeah. buffalo extinct because the buffalo was the linchpin of Native American economies. Yeah. And so when they were able to kill all the buffaloes, that made these Native American communities so much more vulnerable because they no longer had the resources or the relationships to their environment to resist the westward expansion of the early United States. Yeah. And so when I say things have been stolen from white people, what I what I mean by that is White people have had shamans. White people have had witchcraft. We have had wise women. We have had songs. We have had <coughs> elders. We have had ancestors. We have had people who knew us intimately from our youngest days that we then helped transition to their death and through their death into like whatever was next for them. We had all of these very <coughs> like specific community, village level relationships that gave us resilience. Because as a human species, we are communal. You know, we, we come together, we hold space for each other, we protect each other. And that is just how we have evolved. But that's not profitable. That is not something that allows for the concentration of power. That's not something that you can <coughs> export or commoditize or um, colonialize. And so you need to disrupt these communities and the power that they hold so that way then you can redirect those now vulnerable individuals, these fearful individuals like I was when I was a child, to the uh, systemic abuse of other people because that is what we've learned to create profit from. You cannot coerce someone to abuse another human being. You cannot coerce someone to be sociopathic if they have a resilient emotional inner world. Because they're gonna be like, no, I would rather die than do that to another person. And so then instead of profiting off of this person, you then have to kill them. And so what the system